What up, y'all? Welcome back to She Gets It Pod. My name is Shan. Shan B. Podden. Shan B. Podden on TikTok, IG, Twitter, um, Instagram. Just hashtag Shan B. Podden. Google Shan B. Podden. Shan B. Podden.com. You go and find me. This is a podcast because I get and I understand a lot of things, even though I don't agree with it. And I I just really dig into topics some people may not want to touch unless something in social media happens. I touch topics regardless of something happening or not. So let's get into it. Welcome. Girl, this is not why we're here. Welcome to She Gets It Pod. I have Glow. Okay, I got Glow on the mic with me tonight. This is a Pod Fam collab, all right? Y'all see the title, Everyone's High Off Yams, okay? Because they are, okay? And I'm talking about both yams. The yams you eat and the yams you might bite on, squeeze on, feel on. Rest your head on. Put your face in. You know what I'm saying? Be safe, okay? All booties are not created equal. Okay, so this is why I wanted to talk about this, because socially, the gawking has been about big butts and big boobs, right? And I feel like boobs have made it to the passenger seats, and now it's just solely about big butts, And, um, but let's be honest, yams are out of control. There are yams in the grocery store that are GMO, that are ridiculously big and giving a lot of men parts competition. And I've seen them. Okay. And those are not the most delicious yams, just like on women and some men, because some men are getting their yams done. Okay. Okay. And um, out of the five exes that I've had, I've been with men who have bigger asses than me. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm talking about the rotisserie was rotisserie, okay? The yams were yammy, okay? And um, I grew up around real bodies and women that were in music videos with real bodies. Um porn girls with real bodies that were known for their real bodies and if they didn't have a real body it wasn't the ass that was fake it was the boobs so now like we've completely switched and today it's um good and bad attention that people are craving so if their booty is horrible they're like okay let me make my horrible butt work. Let me make my horrible um, booty job work and get me attention. Walking through the grocery store is now like a shit show. Don't forget, you can check out more from Glow on Conversations with Glow on Facebook. She airs her show around 5.30 p.m. on Eastern side of time okay on the come up radio station app tune in with conversations with glow now back to the yam situation walking through the airport is like damn how ridiculous can she get Look, look, look. Let me put him on my my phone. Let me put it on my phone. I'm going to upload my video first. Or I took that video right there. That ass, that ass is fat. Yeah, I got a bitch with an ass of fat. But you don't... She ain't got no name. She don't got no talents. You don't know nothing else about her. And growing up in like middle school, high school, college, it wasn't a brag to be the meat. Okay, let me educate you guys on the meat. The meat as a woman is like the woman that can't go from her car to her door without a whole bunch of people trying to talk to her. The woman that can't go from the subway to her job without a whole bunch of men uh, yelling at her, screaming at her, telling her, telling her what they're going to do to her body, all of this, or... The girl that 
can't get no real friends, the girl that can't um, find a man that really wants to get to know her, all they see is body, 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 body. So now it's like those women have was like, well, fuck it. I'm going to let y'all see my body. I'm going to make money off my body. I'm going to flaunt my body. I'm going to put my body out there. When I pose, I'm not going to let you see my face first. I'm not going to let you see what I can do first. I'm going to let you see my ass first. And I'm going to put it on my Instagram. I'm going to put it on my threads. I'm going to put it on my Snapchat. I'm going to put it on wherever I could put it up. When I post about my business... I'm going to do it titties first. But then later on, I'm complaining about the clientele that I'm getting that doesn't stick around for what I can provide or the days that I get are short term or the relationships that I'm in that are short term. I don't know why it's not going anywhere because the reality is some people, I'm going to say some because some people do get in relationships fully. Some people can get in relationships with someone who's in the entertainment business. Fingers, fingers, fingers. (laughs) Okay, bunny ears, bunny ears. And they can still have a real relationship. An everyday daily bond and grow and build whatever they want their life to be. But a lot of men cannot handle a woman that they have to be on defense about every time they leave their house. A woman that... We actually seeing that right now, but go ahead. Right, like, oh, you wearing that? Okay, let me be on defense for anybody that's going to be disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Or let me be ready for somebody to touch between you going from the bar to the bathroom. Like, a lot of men don't want to be with a woman where they got to play security. In order for them to have a good time. But some men do. Some men egos. That's what I was getting ready to say. Some men want to to feel like a superhero in that area. Yes. They want to feel like they have that is on their chest. Yes. Some men egos rely on. Yeah, I might be short, but look at my bitch. Right. Yeah, I might be um, a nerd, but look at my car, look at my women, look at my houses, look at the trips you could go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might not be the most handsome, but I could pull this girl right here. Look at her body. Your girl don't even look like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like women know it and men know it. Women know that they're only getting a man because... They are a brag for him. Right? He doesn't really care about your thoughts. When he wants to make real life decisions, he's not consulting you first. When you're you're sick and you look like shit, he ain't really trying to come around and see you. (laughs) Like, let's be real. And you on the phone and you talking to your homegirls about why he doesn't want to come over and hold you or bring you some soup because you're not looking your best. Right. You're not going to look your best all the time. Right. You're not going to get your hair done today. Right. You're not going to do your nails. Why your feet so you, look like that? Right. Yeah, I understand you were sick and stuff, but you couldn't even get a wax for me. Nigga, you are serving jungle dick. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It'd be like the audacity of some men. And I say some and not all. The audacity of a man to dictate what a woman is supposed to look like. And you haven't seen your dick in two years. Two years. And it'd be the audacity and the entitlement. We cannot, we definitely cannot leave that out. It, it, it'd be all of that. But they, they have that because they know, they already know what they are doing to actually bring in these type of women. And the women already know what they're doing to actually bring in these type of men as well. The the men are using their money, their cars, their whatever to bring in these type of women. And the women are using their bodies to actually bring it in. So what I do want to do is actually go back to where you was talking about in regards like with the bodies, right? 
And mm-hmm. as far as like with the meat, like, you know, this woman can't go this far in regards to walking from her house to her car to her car to her house. Um, but now yet, you know, she's doing this and she's placing her body and stuff on um, uh, Instagram because, you know, this is what she's going to get. And now she wants people to actually know this is, you know, versus this is what she do besides, you know, flaunt her body. I see right. it all the time on Twitter. I see it all the time on Twitter. They be like, okay, yeah. so boom, you know, I'm going to wheel you in on this. Right. This is my real business right here. People be like, I don't give a fuck about that. Like, <laughs> you, you, like I see it all the time with women. You have a great message. <laughs> you have a great business, but all I see is this. Right. <laughs> I just don't know why I just can't right. get ahead. <laughs> this. <laughs> Cause you, if I put this video on mute, I think you're selling us titty milk. <laughs> Is that what you're selling? Are you selling selling titty milk? No. Well, you gotta make sure. If I'm blind, am I getting the message? <laughs> if 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 I can't read, am I getting the message? Right. If I can only visually see you and I can't hear you, am I getting the message? Right. Right. But they do it all the time and turn around and went in respect. So the thing is, is that I was just also talking about this as well, is that like me, the me having the Snapchat. Okay, so on my Snapchat, I po- I post porn on my Snapchat. But okay, so with me actually posting porn on my Snapchat, you should mm. know the type of attention that I actually get from me actually posting this porn on my snapchat right and it's just like okay but this is not the type of person that i am mind you before i even post it i don't post it all the time i post me playing music on my snap i post affirmations each day i post um my 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 podcast stuff like Mm -hmm. i i do whatever you see me sometimes do on twitter this is what i do on my snapchat as well too so it's just like y'all you you're getting all of me you're not just basically just getting this one side of me so Mm -hmm. but it's just like okay fuck all that that you posted i'm seeing you're posting this so mm-hmm. being that I'm seeing that you posting this, I'm going to go after the fact that, okay, you're posting mostly, okay, yeah, I see your podcast, blah, 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 whatever. But I'm also seeing that, okay, boom, you're posting six too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go after the fact that you're posting six because, wow, like everybody likes six. So I'm going to take it as this is the type of person that you are. And, mm-hmm. you should, and I don't want you looking at me like that, but it's already stuck in your head. Like, this is who I'm going to take you as. Mm-hmm. I, your mind is not going to change. And that's how I feel like that's how these men are out here as well, too. Like, with that, okay, so let's take Sexy Red, for for instance, the rapper, Sexy Red. Okay. So, you see how she came out, boom, 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 or whatever. So, let's say, for instance, she wake up tomorrow and be like, I've changed. I, I want to be baptized and stuff. Motherfuckers gonna still look at her like my coochie pink, my booty hole brown. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's how I feel about reggae artists. When reggae artists, um, <laughs> when reggae artists uh, get older, they turn to the church, honey. Lady Saw right now is in the church. Mr. Vegas right now is in the church, and. I feel like they just get to an age where they realize I've portrayed this type of me. And when you get older, people don't want that. Mm -hmm. And so now you have to step into a life you never gave priority. And they get so engulfed into the Bible and and religion to kind of like rebuke themselves Mm -hmm. and ask for forgiveness. I'm just like... <laughs> I mean, it's already written. You might as well leave it out, right? You get what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. You know, I like what they say, God in my heart. You know, <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just saying, like, they gonna still look at you like the same. You know, like, oh, that's you. She can be up there singing a whole Christian song. They be like, oh, okay, like, okay. Let's say, for instance, like. 
Tasha from um, Escape. She in the goddamn church singing a whole Escape song. I saw it. Hey. <laughs> I saw it. But you know, this is the <laughs> thing about church too. Church be having the most scandals. They <laughs> the most lit situations. Okay. So like me personally, like I I appreciate a nice booty, right? Naturally. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay? I do not want to be in a relationship with a woman, but if I had to pick do you want to see men dance or women dance? I'm picking women every yes. time. Every time. Every time. Every time. I, I'm with you. Okay. No, when it man. comes okay. to Boston being footage after 1 a.m. for me, am I looking for men or am I looking for women? I'm looking at women right. every time. Every now, time. if a man just so happens to be there, cool, sir. Cool, sir. But I'm looking for technique. I'm looking for, hmm, okay. I want to know how she did that. I want to know how that. Well, that's a look. Right. I well, I ain't, uh, well, I ain't never tried that way before. Right. Well, I, I didn't even know this category was a thing. But when it comes to, like, these fake butts being, like, ignorant not matching okay the huge stuff jaunts like the the ugly ignorant y'all thighs not matching y'all legs look ridiculous you put on pants you look uncomfortable and then y'all clothes look look weird y'all clothes look weird and this is the thing that people not thinking about most of the women who make their fake butts look natural, there's certain workouts they can't do, they're not supposed to do, and they're not going one time. They're going back five times. They're able to go back and keep up and, and maintain it. Most women who are scraping or begging or with the ugly man with the money and I just need to be with him for a while so I could get enough money from him so I can do my body and then move on to a better man type stuff. They're not trying to keep up where they're going multiple times, right? Their health is not together. They don't like working out. They're not eating right. They're not trying to change their lifestyle. And my thing is like women's bodies that I miss, I miss like you take care of your skin you take care of your hair you might wear your natural hair and you might wear hair that's not yours in your hair sometimes but if you take all the makeup off and it's your hair you still have like a natural beauty about you you don't feel the need to see another woman and say she ain't even all that she ain't got this she ain't got that she ain't got got no lashes on Girl, I don't even got no lashes. I don't even this got whole no thing lashes. about lashes is y'all look stupid to me. Girl. Y'all look stupid to me. And then what's so what's so horrible about the lashes is when you take that shit off and you don't have it on, I don't even know who you are because you wear it too much. Mm-hmm. You don't even look like you no more. And and for me as a mom, I'm just like, who would I be to have weave in my hair all the time, have fake nails on my hands all the time, wear makeup every day, be dressed up every day, um, heels all the time, my boobs out. If I, you know, tip over a little bit, you might be able to see the curve of my ass cheek. And then when my kids want to do it, tell them, no, that's not how you present yourself. Well, you do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so easy for me to be an ignorant mom and be like, I got titties, I got a body, I need to make money, I'm going to have an OnlyFans. Or, yeah, I'm going to do porn, but I don't care, but my kid's not about to do that. I would sound dumb. Dumb as fuck. Like, many women out here was like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, do what you want, blah, 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 blah. But what about your daughter? Oh, she's not going to do that. She's not going to do that. Oh, God, 
you hit it right on the nail. Goodness, Shan, because I look at I, that same face, I be like, what? And I say that too. Okay, so I know this may be like off subject, but let me just be in that we are kind of on this subject. Um, on um, on Conversations with Glow, which is um, my podcast, we were talking Speak about... <laughs> we were talking about um, in regards, like, you know, like with the whole phase. And it was like, so would you talk to your daughter about a whole phase? I said, I sure will. Would you allow for your daughter to have it? I mean, if that is something that she choose to do. Can we pause I- right there? I have okay. a real issue with people feeling like they allow people to be who they are. I have a rich, I have a, I have a real issue with men and women who ask this hypothetical question. Are you letting your husband or your woman go on uh, girls trips or, or boys trips without you? Letting? Letting. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. With this generation of kids we got coming up, we're not letting them anything. anything. They going to do whatever they want to do whenever. My whole thing with raising my girls is... Let me give them the most honest, blunt ways things could go great and things could go left. Mm -hmm. Let me give them the most honest and blunt information to give them the best game before they leave my house. That way no one else outside would put them on to a lie. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't let your kids do anything, but you educate them on what's out here and what a possibility is. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, Anya came up to me today in the house and was like, Mom, what's AIDS? And I straight told her. I told her what it is. I told you how you can get it. And no, you can't get it off of someone having AIDS and touching a pencil and then you pick it up. That's ignorant. But that's what people thought back in the day. But a lot of people would be like, oh my gosh, where did you hear that? Get off of that right now. As if they're not going to hear it no more. Right, right, right. And I can say, and I I personally, I've kept some of, some of my diaries from my teen years and my twenties. So I, so my kids could see how dumb I was. (laughs) Read it. Read read how I loved that. Read how I loved him. I thought he was it. Read it. (laughs) Look at me now. Read it. Yeah. I wish I would have kept half a girl. I was like, I, I want them to read how I slept in this man's boxers. Listen, listen, Shan. Like, my mom allowed for me to write a whole dude that was locked up while we were in middle school. What? Yeah. He was in middle school. We were in middle school together. He went to juvie. Yeah. I was sitting up here and I was reminiscing and I was like, wow. My mama let me write a whole dude that was locked (laughs) And I can remember I was listening to a song the other day and I was like, I can remember writing this whole song and sending it to him. Girl, what? If dumb was dumb. (laughs) I I wanted to see how dumb I was, man. But my thing is, is just like, you know, I can't sit up here and actually be a hypocrite. Now, yes, yeah. he came to me and was like, Mom, I want to smoke weed or whatever. And I was, you know what I'm saying, trying to stall it out. And eventually, you know, she ended up doing it. But it's not like anything. I was like, oh, yeah, come on, girl. You ain't sitting there with you and smoke together. Hell no. Yeah. But at the end of the day, what I don't want you to do is sit out here acting like no junkie and buying it from anybody because it's dangerous out here girl let me tell you something whenever i come across them uh hypes in philly i'm like anya come here this is what it looks like when you want pills and you addicted look look at this this is what it looks like when you smoke for the first time and somebody lace your stuff with something else and you be stuck because that's the thing now you think you're just smoking weed, but they lace your stuff with something else. And it could be one of your friends. Yeah. And really trying to, like, pour into my girls what a friend is. 
we go to the park today, you meet somebody, you play with them, that is not your friend. That, that is, is just some girl or some boy you saw at the park. <laughs> okay? Awesome. If we come back 30 more times and you play with them over a period of time, you're getting to know them, but that's not your friend. Know what qualifies somebody to be a best friend. You know what I'm saying? And all of that stuff is important because that's how people trap you into positions to take advantage of you. Mm-hmm. I just wish that with me being a young mom and with me knowing the things that I know now and with you having smaller kids and I'm having a teenager, mm-hmm. I wish that I knew a whole lot of stuff that I know now. And I probably would have called it a long time ago because sometimes I just, because I tell my daughter now, like, you don't have any friends, but she has all the friends in the world. Mm -hmm. You don't have any friends. Let me tell you something. When I was. friends won't put you in predicaments that you have been in. When I was seven, my dad would sit at his desk and clean his gun. And my mom would be like, can Shan go down the street to the girl's house that she goes to uh, school with and study for spelling tests? She was like, he friend that was like, what girl? Her classmate, her friend. She ain't got no friends. I'm her friend. I know what that old man was talking about now. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like what? But yeah, back on the big asses. <laughs> <laughs> um... I, I think, and, I, and this is another, another thing too. I went to school with girls who had ass in the sixth grade. Yeah, I, I went had to school with grade. girls that had ass in the seventh grade, the eighth grade, the ninth grade, and didn't want it. Didn't want it. Mm-hmm. So now, seeing all of these pants that got ass in it already, um, workout uh, pant shorts and stuff that got like ass lifters. My thing is, like, what's wrong with using your body to work out? Because I got titties in the sixth grade, and I ain't want them. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Some days, depending on what I'm wearing, I still don't want them, but they're here. But at the same time, if if I wanted my ass to be bigger or um, higher, I would rather do the workout to build that than to go sit on somebody's table and hope that you just work on my ass, that you don't take out an organ that I can't see and, and sew me up or, or do something that I don't know of in some other country and I come back and now I have health issues that no doctor here wants to touch. Yeah, like what happened to Spice? That's she crazy. Died. Just because she was getting a lift, a BBL lift or whatever. And it's crazy because I I feel that way too. I I never had an ass. I'm gonna say that now. Like I I never had an ass. Depends I, on I, the jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the jeans for me. You know what I'm saying? The heel height for me. You know what I'm and that's what I had to learn too when I got older. It 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 it, it actually has filled out now since I have gotten older. Um, but when I was younger, it was always oh, Chloe. I always used to hear, well, you will fool somebody from the front, but when they look at your backside, oh, you, oh, they'll be disappointed because in the front, it's just like, oh, okay, she got little hips, but goddamn, in the back, oh, man, you don't got But at the same time, too, I never liked the pressure that I got hanging out with a friend that had ass. Me too. And I never wanted the attention secondhand that she was getting. Like, yes. I wanted to be like, can you, you you could come, but can you leave your ass at home? Because right. I don't, I don't want no problems. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling so, you, my homegirl had, she, and she still got it to this day. I feel like it's gotten bigger. You get what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. And I'm just like, damn, girl, like, we'll be walking. We'll walk down the street in our neighborhood. And it's just like, boom, boom, boom. I'm just like, yeah. She said, boom, boom, boom. (laughs) And you know it. You just said it. You just, you're right. And so my ass just as flat as it can be. 
So the attention is on her. You know what I'm saying? It was like, hey, girl. So she's getting hollered at the most. You want to know mm-hmm. why? Because she's the girl with the But I don't mind head. that. I know why they're trying to talk to you. Right. And right. you know why they're trying to talk to you. Right. That's fine. But I Girl, do, do what I you do. do. That now. But when I was younger, <clears throat> I was, it was like more like, well, damn, why are they talking to you now? But you know what? My aunt used my mom and my aunt used to tell me, it's not it's not what you got in the back. It's what it's what you got in the middle. And then as I had became older, I knew what they was talking about. I was like, oh, I never wow. heard that before. You know right. why? Because Nobody, every I think everybody around me growing up thought I was just going to be a tomboy to the hundredth power till I, I die. And they was like, oh, Chantal, we don't have to worry about her. <laughs> and I'm not, I, I, my tomboy percentage is probably like at a, a 20% now. Is it? I feel like it is. I, I feel like. Know. I don't the way you dress <laughs> okay this is the thing I have to be comfortable and I get dressed in moods but Me if too. I really if I really like some someone and I was going somewhere with a purpose sometimes I purposely dress down and comfortable so people don't bother me so okay. men don't try to talk to me Okay. Girl, I even I I said this before. I even put my seat down and low to make them think that I'd be having somebody in my passenger seat. <laughs> Nobody sits in my passenger seat but Anya. Because I don't want some days I don't want men talking to me because I know you don't like me. You're just looking at what you can see. Right. Some days I might wear a skirt, you might see a little bit more thigh meat. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to talk to you though. <laughs> and so my Even with that ass shit, head. I don't like the attention. Yeah, okay. Okay. I don't like the attention my titties be getting, and I know they're getting attention. You know why? Because my nipples are hard and they're loud. <laughs> and you know how many men in a corporate space be like, Shan, did you know your nipples are showing? I'd be like, yeah, I was born with them. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with it? Are you gonna, are, is HR gonna bring me in the office and be like, Chan, you cannot wear white, yellow, creams, uh, pinks, black? <laughs> oh, yeah. We are all here, okay? Let me do my job. I am hollering. <laughs> my titty's been loud since the sixth grade. Oh, goodness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Double Dutch was no longer safe. Four Square was no longer safe. Gym was no longer safe. Hula Hoop was no longer safe. Oh, Monkey Bars were no longer safe. Jumping Jacks was no longer safe. When I go to the gym and I go and work out classes, I gotta go to the back. Yeah. Like, sir, you know I don't need no help back here. You just came back here to get a closer look. Right. Right. Like, come on. Right. But yeah, right. this ass thing, um just think about what you're gonna look like in your sixties. I don't okay. think that any of them think about the long term. I think majority of them actually think about the short term as to how they are going to look now. Um they don't think about well when I turn when I when I do turn fifty five mm-hmm. or sixty, is my is my legs gonna be able to hold up all this ass? Is my back gonna be able to support? <laughs> that sounds so crazy. <laughs> is it gonna be able to hold it up? Am I gonna still be able to get somebody to record me walking on my backside and still record an Instagram video and still get paid for it? You feel me? Yeah, I think yeah. everybody has this idea that they're gonna get paid on social media, and and when it flops, <laughs> they're mad because you know you gotta find your own revenue, you gotta find your own avenue. You get what I'm saying? Like, if I was really insecure, because again, I got picked on my whole fucking life with mm-hmm. I never had an ass. Yeah. I would be, if I was the most insecure female, I would have been had got a BBL. 
been I would have been on a table. Yeah. But I never cared. That's what I was going to say. Like, I keep in my head, like, you know, it's, it's definitely not what's in the back. It's definitely what's in the middle. So, y'all ladies keep... To the lady that's out there that does not have any ass in this, listening to this, as long as you... If, you know what? I've always been told it's big when you've been over and... It's not what you got in the back. It's what you have in the middle, okay? And let me say this to all the people that said after you have kids, it's going to spread. Fuck you. (laughs) Fuck you. Except my ass cheeks when I take a shower. I'm telling you. Okay, nothing is spreading. All right. But no. So, just because you can doesn't mean you should. All right. This hourglass figure is achievable for some and not all. There, there are people that work out three times a week every week and still cannot get this hourglass figure. There are people that take take their ribs, some of their ribs out to get this figure that honestly the men who are saying oh I want a bad bitch, I want a this sir your body looks like baloney when it hits the floor when you lay down and his dick is little And I've confirmed this, not because I've had these men, but because I've seen these men on video. (laughs) I've seen the index finger and the thumb be used like chopsticks. And it's not cute. There is no way you hitting the pussy how you need to hit it when your belly's in the way. There's no way. And I be damned that there's a man hitting from the back and drop his belly meat on my butt cheeks. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Sir, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> oh my God. I did not sign up for this, sir. But you know what? I can't even say that it's a guy thing because women enjoy big booties too. And some women are as ignorant as the men with the shit. I mean, I like big asses. Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't like them to be too big. Yeah. I, I don't like them to be too big. And if they are too big, then I'm just like, ugh, you know, like, ugh, like, why is it too big? That's just, and sometimes I feel like if I see an ass too big, I just don't think it's clean. That's just that my too. personal opinion. That's just that my too. personal If I see, opinion. this is this is a two, a two recipe for dookie for me. Yes. <clears throat> if I see a big sloppy ass that's not in shape and she got long acrylics. Yeah. Because how the fuck is you washing your ass? How is you wiping your ass? Let me tell you something. When I shower and I get my pussy flaps... I don't need nothing in the way of me getting what I need to get. I'm telling you. So I'm I'm just imagining. You see how long my nails is now? They're going to get cut down. Ma'am, I took mine off. <laughs> and, and there's one that I don't know what glue they put on. <laughs> in June, in early June. Girl, it must have been super glue. I swear to God. It won't come off. I swear to God, when I try to take this shit off, I'm in tears. So, this is the last of the Mohicans. And it's going to stay there until it falls off. But... And then you having a nerve walking around as if, like, your shit don't stink. And I really do truly believe your shit do stink. Like, for real. And... I just don't be thinking like real big asses are clean. That's just that's just my and you know anybody that's listening if y'all can confirm if they are clean, 
hit me up and let me know. You know they gone. And my ass is, I don't know about that. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. My titties sweat and it's just a double D. Okay. It's just a double D. So I'm just imagining pants in the summer, especially in this heat, in denim, in uh, tight leggings, your thighs rubbing. Because I'm just thinking, okay, if you have a big ass like that, that's ignorant. You must have big thighs. And then I'm just like, your pussy is not too far away from your ass. So the sweat is mixing, sir, mix a lot. <laughs> While we talking about that, did you ever see that video of Mariah when she had got her hair done and she had a big ass uh, butt sweat on her? On her oh her yeah, eyes? I saw it. But I thought that is that the wetness from her braids? Oh, or is that sweat? I thought it was sweat. And this is another thing. Let me tell let me tell you ladies about these motherfucking workout pants that go in your ass crack. Because a lot of women like to wear those workout pants with no draws. That's me. Girl, when now, I tell I don't you the one that goes in your ass crack though. When I tell you <laughs> I was in my house for one day and I was like, I'm gonna just wear these shorts while I work and I'm gonna work out. Oh, I worked out. And the next six days, you couldn't tell me somebody didn't gangbang my asshole. (laughs) Girl! My my asshole was like bothering me for like six days. And I was just like, I said, why is my ass like this? No. Girl, sore. No, I was not expecting that. I said, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't know how women are doing it, but the way that shit was splitting me. Oh, oh. No, no, ma'am. So what you and think? this is why I be like, men have the audacity to be like, women be wanting this and they expect this. Do you know what the fuck we put on and how much we have to pay to get dressed just to look semi-presentable for you to be like, so you gonna pay your half? Mm. You know what? My homegirl was just talking about that too. She said women pay a lot of money to look presentable. And I told her, you know. I did a whole episode on that shit. What is it called? I need to go listen. It's to called it. I didn't I didn't put it out yet. It's coming oh. out in August. It's called Hot Crotch Bodysuit. Mm-hmm. Because I, men don't get it. Yeah. But you want a Dutch. <laughs> <sighs> and then a lot of men be dutching on um sessions too. You want amazing head, the Gawk Gawk 3000, you know what I'm saying? But you're going to sit here and, and, and play with pussy lips and be like, I don't really, I don't really eat pussy. No shit, Sherlock. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. I, I really be wanting like, nigga, make sure you leave my money on the dresser. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my money on the dresser, but I didn't know, nigga. Oh, God. The math is not mathing. The math is not mathing. The fuck? Never math. It's there. It's mean. It's a double fucking standard out here. That's why I was just like, it's okay. Shit, if you want to take me to a coffee day, I'm going to show up in pajama pants, a t shirt. No, I'll, I'll, I'll wear some regular chill clothes for a coffee date. I'll go out for ice cream and and talk in the park but the thing is nigga I gotta like you if I don't like you I'm not going to continuously be on the phone with you I'm not gonna respond to text messages and it's not that you're a horrible guy I'm, I'm purposely showing you I am not interested I don't believe in leading men on to make them feel like they have a chance And most men do not say this, 
But most men do not straight out ask you, do you like me? Would you like to go on a date? You know why? Because they don't want to hear the no either. Mm-mm, they don't like rejection. Men don't. I've, I've done have plenty of those conversations. They definitely don't like rejection. But I'm also one of those women they, where... They, when they, I, they, hold on. They would want to ghost you before you reject them. I don't even let a man ghost me. I've, I've been ghost, ghosted plenty of times. I will give you the best dick ride of your life. <laughs> Hey, you're the devil. And throw <laughs> your existence in the garbage. Oh my gosh, you're the and, devil. And I will sit there while your existence is in the garbage with me and watch the trash man pick you oh up to make gosh. sure. Shay, you are the devil. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, I don't care. <laughs> Like you, you know how like um, um, companies when they want to test the product, yeah, you be like, bring it in, impress me. <laughs> you got you got three times to impress me, and on that third time, while I'm in a session, I know this is the last time. You don't know, but this is the last time. Oh, so you oh, so you so you give it chances. I've given I, I I've given if I have to come to you, you get three chances to wow me. If I give you the space to be where I am, you have two chances and then Sarah okay. you, ten women can run a train on you right now and I would not flinch. I am not impressed. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But that's what sucks when you when you have um, a variety of people who are great at certain things. Like I was in the shower when I was shaving, and I was like, "Damn, she ain't like you didn't have a whole face." Just so y'all know, a great way to support podcasters is simple. It's about finding out what else they're into. A lot of podcasters are not backed by a major company giving them opportunity after opportunity and giving them millions of dollars. But shouts out to them. For the indie podcasters, the ones that do it from the ground up themselves or with a small team, we need support. And the way that we can support a podcaster like myself and others is by finding what else they're into. If you go to shambypodden.com, you will find that I'm also providing help to other people who want to podcast or, you know, fine tune their podcast to figure out how to go ahead and market it on different platforms. Because I truly believe that podcasting is 20% of podcasting, actually physically doing the episode. And the rest is marketing and, and content and research and getting to a new audience while keeping your consistent audience with you. And the way that you can support me is either by buying a book for yourself or someone else that's in podcasting or buying some merch on She Gets It Shop with Teespring. That'll support me. That'll support the show. Dropping a review and letting other people know your thoughts on the podcast, where to find the podcast. Reviewing and sharing a post that I post. A lot of people like to sit and just let me follow this page. That's just not active supporting. That is just like, let me just watch what they're doing. Actively supporting someone is watching them consistently show up and actually reposting and sharing and letting your audience know that, hey, this person over here exists. They're dropping something good. I enjoy it. Check it out for yourself. Every time someone supports me, I appreciate it because you don't have to. I really created this podcast out of nothing, out of thin air. And I'm so glad I'm at 20 seasons. And I want to thank you guys for supporting me. Continue to support. And I'll continue to keep giving you content. Now back to the show. Thank you for listening to the show. It will continue. Pump your brakes. But I just like to say... um. One of the best things for me as a podcaster is to see other people's thoughts about something I shared, something I said, um, something I gave. And so the best way to do that for me 
is by going to your favorite podcast app and making sure you leave a review on the episode that you liked or the podcast itself and give feedback. You can do it on Apple, you can do it on Spotify, you can do it on CastBox, you can do it on Radio Public, you can do it on Good Pods. I love hearing feedback and I would love some new feedback for this new season. Um, I am trying a couple of different things and I really want to focus on what people think and why they keep listening, you know? But keep that in mind. I'll continue the show and let me know what you think. But I can say I purposely put myself in positions with different men to see if that relationship was for me, right? Mm -hmm. You know how people have like a type? Mm -hmm. None of my exes, you you will line up and be like, oh, he's similar to none of them on purpose. (laughs) On purpose. Because I wanted to see if anybody came close to 100% of what I needed. And all of these niggas are pieces of men. (laughs) A piece of you was cool, but the other shit I don't want. A piece of you was cool, but the other... So I'm just like, damn, Shan, you ain't never had somebody where it's like 100% I could do this long term. Now that you're saying that, I've only had a long term with one person. That was my ex-boyfriend, but I don't even understand how we even had long term. I think it was forceful because he kind of sort of like forced it. It was, I don't know how that actually went, but... No, and when I say long term, I'm not saying that we couldn't have like a long relationship. I could have a long relationship and still know like we not about to grow old together. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking that's, about somebody that... That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't see myself just necessarily... I don't seem to be real with you. I mean, I don't necessarily... I, I may just be that old lady just here decorating her house and finding myself having several friend guys and, hey, you want to come over? Let's go have a drink. I just don't see myself just... I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to be that old lady and I'm just going to have 10 cats because I don't like cats. You get Yeah, I, I'm not going to be um, the cat lady. I'm definitely not going to be the cat lady, but it's just the fact that I... Okay, so you didn't have a whole phase. I kind of sort of like did. Okay? So mm-hmm. it was just more of, you know, in each person, I felt like you when it came to the, on the outer side, like none of them... Nobody didn't necessarily kind of sort of like favored each other, but when it came to like their sets, it's like the their like pieces of their sets that I could if I could just take everything from everybody and just like put it on one person, I could probably find myself just really being with that person if I can just take everything from it, like like one piece for everybody, boom boom boom, and just make that one person. Yeah, build the man. Yeah, build that man. Man, I remember I had this one ex where he just treated me so good. Like, he's such a gentleman. Like, I would call his mama and be like, he's a gentleman. But, (sighs) I hope you don't listen to this. (laughs) (laughs) Don't you be hurt, baby? Like, you know? Don't listen to this one. He had the <laughs> worst fuck faces I've ever seen. Oh man. Oh man. Like the only way we would be able to make this work, nigga, every time we fuck, it had to be pitch black. No. Or put a pillow. And some of the times when we fuck, I had to think about my ex to finish. <sighs> <laughs> I <laughs> and I've 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 had sessions with no, men where you just say that shit. Yes, I've, I've had sessions with men where I felt like they were more concerned with their titties jiggling than mine. <laughs> <laughs> And my thing is like, dog, 
The most uncomfortable session is when a man is clearly not comfortable with his body. Oh my god! And both of y'all trying to get a nut. And I'm just like, dog. If I ain't never been in a lesbian relationship, this is kind of close. <laughs> Because I was like a couple of inches from putting the nipple in my mouth. <laughs> but he was a cool dude. But he was a cool dude, though. He was a cool dude. And he got and he got mad at me because I let him nut in my mouth. Oh, he got mad at you? He was one of those where who the girl that he is with, he don't want them to do that. Wow. Some men just cool. feel like they can't slut out the woman they want. They can only slut out a bitch they don't like. Oh, please. I'm not. Please. <laughs> I'd be like, you fucking boring. <laughs> it's like, Doug. So, I don't know. Like, yeah, that's all. That's his own thing. What's another one? Um, ew. I have an ex where if I was like tomorrow we could get married, that man would marry me tomorrow. I got one right now. If I was say go, let's that man sweats too much. Yeah, yes, and that's him too. He sweat entirely too fucking much. Imagine sweating and getting ocean salt water in your mouth. And I'm just and no, and then when that happens, I'd be like, get off of me. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot switch, switch. And that man was like, you don't like, he's like, you don't like the way I eat you out. I said, no, I do not say my am. Nigga, I just feel like if he eat me out during a session, my whole pH is going to be off and I'm going to get high blood pressure from the salt. Oh, uh, oh my God. But he's a cool guy too. I believe men was taking breath get that gives head throws off a woman's pH. Oh no, you shouldn't be giving nobody head at all. But that's what be the problem and that's what throws off women's pH. But women don't feel like oh, no, 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 no. And men that smoke. Uh-huh. If you smoke and we supposed to have a session, sir, mouthwash, brush your teeth, mm-hmm. have a glass of water. Okay, let's continue. We got a little off track. <laughs> um, I will say there's nothing wrong with a nice booty, but a lot of people are ODing on it. And um, I think people need to make sure the attention that they get is the attention that they want. And when they don't want to be bothered, bothered, make sure that you remember that your ass is loud. Make sure that you remember that you wore yoga pants today. Mm-hmm. Like, there's certain colors as a big titty woman that I don't wear. Heather gray. Um, white pants, unless I got a longer top. When I wear white tank tops, tank tops, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you my titties is loud, my titties is like... Big white balls in a fucking zoo on yes. crack. That's why I barely, I, okay, I barely wear white t shirts because first they get dingy quick, and secondly, because of that. It's they like, just, They just look big. I'm like, ugh. Um, I hate buying blazers because of the titties. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I do buy blazers, I usually have my mom tailor them when she comes to my house. And my thing is, like, with the ass, when you want respect for your ideas and your effort and in a workplace, when you have a body that's loud, it's hard for people to respect you for who you are and your character because all they're seeing is your body. Uh It is very hard. Uh I used to have this professor. He was a math professor in college, and he would tuck his tie in his shirt. Because he said the men's the men's wardrobe is very sexual, and I'm just like, dog, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, why is it to- why is the tie with a point pointing down to the men's genitals? And I was just sitting there in that cold ass room for three hours while he taught us math that I did not give a fuck about, and be like, so I don't give a fuck if you tied that tie around your neck. 
Nigga, I will fuck the shit out of you. He was so handsome. <laughs> Nigga, give me a D. I want you to. Because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. With the D. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. Nigga, see me after class. Say less. Period. Okay? Now. Let me bless the booties. Let me bless the booties that I like. I think pillow booties are the best. Okay? Mm-hmm. Hard booties are for men only. Okay? I think if men have a nice ass, I would like it to be hard. Okay? Booties so big that you need a tailor, you better have some money. I have friends that have to get their jeans tailored all the fucking time because their ass is too big. You better have some fucking money. All right? Fashion Nova is not going to save you all your life. Um, Big butts are just popular, but I also feel like, just like fashion, is going to make a circle and it's going to go back to butts that's not so big because that's not not what's thin. And I don't know what these women are going to do. Um... But when though, because big ass has been around for a long time now. Big ass has been around for a long time, but I feel like a very long time. I want to say in the next two to three years, it's going to be like, uh, all right, okay. we get it, we see you. <laughs> okay, we- like I, I appreciate a nice ass, big or small, in a sundress. Yeah. Yeah. Like a washing machine ass that's natural. Hello. Mm-hmm. Hello, lady. I like it. Okay. <laughs> this on <all> the <laughs> spin cycle. <laughs> yeah, like when I be watching porn, like I like to see like the, the ass just like boom, boom, boom. I don't like to or, see like, this ass though. Like when women working out and they pull back. Yeah. And you just see the booty. Yeah. Yeah. Sis. <laughs> Follow. <laughs> Following. <laughs> what? I want to see all your workout videos. Following. You inspire me. <laughs> I might do burpees today. Like, girl, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Like, Trust me, I am not. I am not one of those women reporting your page because your ass is fat. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. There's yes. a lot of those women out here. Mm-hmm. Okay? I am not one of them. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, your skin looks amazing, but I see that ass, though. Okay? Right. It's, Send. It's such a distraction. Okay, have a great day. <laughs> And I'm also one of those women where I don't care if I'm with a man and he's looking at ass. Oh, yeah. If I, I ever get that. married, I'm definitely going to be the woman with the man. We're in the store and I'm going to tap him and be like, ass at 12 o'clock. That shit is so bad. Yeah. Like, babe, you see that ass? Whoo! I'd be like, yeah, that's, what, that's how me and my ex boyfriend used to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I swear we used to be. I mean, and just having like our own um, personal inside Joseph. If you act right, you might get that 12 o'clock on your anniversary. Mm-hmm. And it's shit like that where people just feel like they need to overshare what they do in relationships that piss me off. Like if y'all do extra things, that's for y'all. Do extra things that's for y'all. I'm not supposed to judge what you want to do. Glow is not supposed to judge what somebody else wants to do. But I'm not about to explain what I want to do with my husband when I'm not married. I'm not about to tell you what I'm doing with the man I'm in a relationship right now with. Because that's none of your business. I don't care about your thoughts. I don't care about what you don't recommend and don't like in that shit. What people have to get back to is saying less, sharing less about their personal relationships until they're sure about it and just being happy in that shit. I mean, at the end of the day, even if they are sure about it, though, Shan, I still don't feel like that they should share. 
I don't understand why everybody just feel like they need to share. Just like Tia and, and her husband sharing that they getting a divorce. and Like, why? Like, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what's so crazy about that shit? Every time I see her post now and she want to show off her outfit or do a dance or a TikTok, I feel like as soon as she hit post, she is bawling up in the corner crying. Yeah, because at the end of the day, I just feel like that she just wanted to be a hoe. That's just, I, I mean, everybody just want to go through a phase where they just really want to be by themselves and really just want to know who they are and probably get some new penis. And it's okay. And and that's okay. I swear to God, that's okay. And Tia, I ain't trying to call you no hoe, but here's the thing. Um, Clean it up! Clean it up! (laughs) Here's the thing. I swear. But I just don't feel like that people should just want to come on like Jada Pickett and her red table talking. They coming on, her and Will Smith coming on and talking about August. And we... It wasn't necessary. Was it, it was not necessary. necessary for y'all to come and tell me <clears> y'all <throat> business. Y'all ain't listen. When I become in the spotlight, the only thing that y'all gonna know is the spotlight. The only thing that y'all gonna know is about me. Y'all, I, y'all not gonna know about my business. Y'all not gonna know too much because I'm not gonna want y'all in it like that. It's it's a lot of celebrities that that is out here that is definitely definitely private. With their information about their private life. Y'all don't need to know so much. Y'all share so much. Well, and then y'all don't even have to be real with you. You don't even have to be a celebrity. Y'all out here, y'all just normal people just out here. Well, me and, me and my man, we about to have a threesome tonight. Oh, girl, I wouldn't dare share my man. Mm-mm. And you probably already sharing him and not even knowing the fact that you are sharing him. Period. Do you get what I'm saying? That is something that I always hit on. Like, you already sharing him and not even knowing that you are. But you being possibly low down being a, a low-key hater because she is putting it out that she's sharing him. But I feel like it wasn't none of our business that you and your man about to have a threesome. You get what I'm saying? Pause. Let me say this now that she's bringing this up. If you are a man and you are in a relationship where that woman thinks y'all are monogamous and you think that you are respecting her, because the bitches don't call her and tell her that y'all fucked. But she doesn't know because you don't tell her or let her know that you're fucking other bitches. And you're fucking other bitches raw and your wife. You're a bitch also. Mm-hmm. Because to me, a man that's in a position to be his full self and be honest... And that woman that he's married to still respects him and knows what's going on. And he protects her health because he protects his own while he's out there with other people. And you still can keep your marriage and it's still healthy as shit. Sir, all due respect. But it's always a bitch of a man who feels like I'm going to be this way in front of this woman and then when I leave, I'm going to be this way in front of that lady. But I'm loyal and I'm respectful because a nan bitch about to call your phone. Right. <clears throat> like, like that clip you sent me. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just like, dog. It's always some grown man that sucked on his mom's titty too long that think he the best shit in the pot. Again. Audacity in the entitlement. I just like that. Um, all the uh, all the attention is giving women bigger assets. Okay. Mm-hmm. And when I say all this attention is giving women bigger assets, <clears throat> all the men upset about the women that look good. Um, can do for herself financially and if she wanted to she could give any man the time of day but she won't give you the time of day that's because she put herself in a position and her ass to have an option you're just upset that you are not the option exactly and you're gonna have to get okay with the fact that a woman is always in a position to get dick 
because men are very shallow most of the time Mm -hmm. unless a man has gone through a super whole phase and now is putting himself in a position where before I leave this earth I want to make sure I have a woman that will do right by my family do right by herself do right by me Mm -hmm. and won't embarrass my name Mm -hmm. until a man gets to that level he is going to do some whole shit some, um, I know I shouldn't, but eh, might as well shit. He's just going to, because most men don't have that self-control and most men think they have everything under control until they don't. Mm -hmm. And it's not that women don't know or don't see, but just like men be like at a certain point, I don't really care to have an argument or had the conversation Women get to that point sooner than you think. And it's not that that woman doesn't know where you're at. She doesn't give a fuck about where you're at anymore because where you, when you're with her, she knows why you're there and she knows what she can get out of you and she knows you're just not it. Right. Right. It's, it's really evident. Men and women get tired of each other and the relationship keeps going on because that woman knows now what position you play in her life. Right. Okay, the same reason she got sad 10 years ago is not the reason she going to get sad today. <laughs> it's just not. Right. It, and it, it looks crazy stupid. That you say that is because I actually had to, I ain't going to say that I had to check a dude, but I had to mm-hmm. let this dude know. Um, it, it's a dude that I used to talk to like over 10 years ago. My son is 10. So I, I would say like I used to talk to him like over 11 years ago. And mm-hmm. he found himself trying to, like, start back talking to me. And, like, he keep on with the what you doing, what you doing. You know how men can be. So I was just like, you know, I just had to let him know. I was just like, look, like, whatever, you know, you had got, like, almost 10 years ago, that's not, that's not me no more. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. what are you, like, what you trying to get at now it has definitely advanced and all this and that and the third. So you're going to have to come at me a little bit better and come at me correctly and he just you know he responded back to me like with with the shaking his head emoji I guess he didn't have anything to say but (laughs) (laughs) I can't stand when somebody um somebody that's been serving the bare minimum pops up and they wanna they want you to be excited yeah. So I already knew what you're serving. And, and exactly. And that's what and, and you know what I said to him? I was just like I said, I know um that you know you've already had this. Um and but at the end of the day, like it's not what it used to be no more. Like I'm I'm not that person no more. So if if you thinking that it's still that same type of roller coaster, it's not. And he just sent me back, you know, with the like I said, with the shaking his head because you're thinking that it's still that type of party my nigga and it's not a lot of times I really get really mad that emojis exist because it really they, it, men don't, nobody don't know how to talk no more everybody and a lot of these men be old as shit and they can't spell shit and it be no. saving their life <laughs> Exactly. I talked to a forty-six year old man right now and that's all he know that's all he be doing is using emojis. I was like, You don't know how to have a full conversation? This is what you do, use emojis. I don't even want to talk to you. Like I I go days without talking to him. Because you wanna use emojis. The fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me tell you so a man a man hit me and be like Show me that pussy. I'd be like, No. Yeah. Period. No. Not no, da, 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 not this, not you was supposed to. I'm like, I'm like, nigga, you was a no call, no show, nigga. Yeah. I'm busy. You can also find Glow on IG, Instagram. If you put in K O N V E R S A T I O N S dot with dot G L O, you'll find the girl, okay? Make sure you follow her and don't forget to leave a review on your favorite podcast app and like i told dude like i like i'm not even worth a date 
and you want me to pull up, pull up. I'm like, nigga, I, I had to tell, I had to tell a man that, nigga, and don't, I, we were in a conversation, I said, and don't think it's that, like, I want to go out, I want to hang out, I want you to take me out to eat, because I don't even like watching you chew. It ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that. I don't want that, because I know it don't mean shit. Right. Because a lot of people feel like, because that one time back in the day you really wanted to and you was really excited any time I came around. Nigga, I'm not. There's, there's a minimal shit that I get excited about a man doing that I'm not building shit with. Right. Minimal shit. Right. right. Okay. Right. And it's not that I'm jaded. It's just like, what am I supposed to be getting excited about right now? Exactly. Cause you Tell said me. pull, you said pull up, nigga. You serving the same dick that you gave ten years ago. This vagina okay. has advanced, okay. I know how to ride some dick, dick now. You know so crazy. Okay? <laughs> you just serving the same dick, just probably laying on your back still. And here I am. I'm gonna have to work the fuck out of you and just hear you moan. And I'm gonna have to work the fuck out of my neck and you just give me the bare minimum, nigga. Let me say this. If 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 technique was a box of crayons, you have a 12 pack, you have a 24 pack, and you have a 72 pack. Yeah. I may have 72 packs of crayons of technique, but I'm still gonna give you 12 because I know you're deserving of 12. Eight. Or less. You know they got an eight pack of crayons. Play Even with- better. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Because I can lay on my back, too. Hello? (laughs) (laughs) Call me Nemo. I'm telling you. Come find me. I'm telling you. Listen. Listen, I was getting ready to say that. Call me, motherfucker. (laughs) Come find me. (laughs) Nigga, you not about to do... No. The fuck you think this is? Like, I walked five miles today and I did arms. I'm not. <laughs> it be like, a- damn. They got I'm just like, that. dog, I used to do rounds in my 20s. Let me tell you, let me talk to all the 20 year olds. Um, if you're in your 20s right now, I need you to fuck. Fuck your ass off. <laughs> because when you get in these 30s, your body is going to take your body is going to take your energy and your kneecaps are not forgiving okay your thigh muscles are going to you you really gonna want two sessions and your thigh muscles are going to collapse it is sad it's like it's like being at a piccadilly and you could get all you can eat (laughs) I don't have no more strength to get up a second (laughs) Don't ask me to get up in a mode. Just go to sleep. <laughs> just lay here and go to sleep. Hey, just turn over. Damn. Hello. No, Sometimes I don't even get out the wet spot no more. Look, I uh, let me shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just need I need people when it comes to this ass shit. I need y'all to understand that yes, there's a lust factor there. But please make sure these women have integrity. Please make sure that they have a brain. Please make sure that they take care of themselves, that they love themselves. Mm-hmm. Syphilis is up. Oh, gosh, Lord Jesus. And I and I heard that within the next 18 to 24 months that it would be turning into an HIV virus. So y'all be careful out there for real. Be picky. Men, be picky. Men always like to talk about how, oh, this girl ain't shit. She's selfish. She's this. She want this. She just gonna do this. She was that back then too. But all you saw was the ass. All you saw was how she get dressed. All you saw was the hair that she got done. Her nails was all. Who the fuck you thought was paying for that? Let me tell you something. Most of the women who always have their nails done, their hair done, their clothes correct, name brand from head to toe, probably about 
15% of those women are paying for all of that themselves. The rest are different men sending them money. Married men, single men, men they don't want nothing to do that do with. Men that will never uh, sniff the pussy. Men that know they're in a whole relationship, don't care, sending them money. Just want the conversation. Just want a picture. Just want the acknowledgement. So when you see a quote-unquote bad bitch, make sure you understand what comes with that. Most of them don't want to cook. Most of them don't want to see you when you're sick. Most of them don't give a fuck about you when you don't have time when it's convenient for them. Most of them ignore you until they got a problem and they want you to fix it. Most of them are going to ignore you until they feel like they want to acknowledge you. So just know what you're asking for. Because the reality speaking is, even in elementary school, I never liked the popular boy. Middle school, never. High school, never. And I and that, when I see men, I've never liked the man that has to be the loudest in the room. I always wanted the quiet one. The one that is very handsome but does not know his potential. Mm-hmm. The one that barely takes selfies. Mm-hmm. The one that barely posts pictures of himself but likes to be around his family, takes care of his mom, reads books, has a business, has something going for himself. Low key is a low key nerd about some shit that I could learn about. Mm-hmm. To me, those are the most appealing men because. They don't need an audience to feel like they got something going on. They have shit going on by themselves. A lot of men think women who don't go out a lot are just sad and confused. Or women who could do this, need to go on a date, but they don't want to go out on a date with you. What are they doing? What are they doing? Who are they talking to? Some women ain't talking to nobody. Mm-hmm. A lot of women are not talking to anybody. And it's not because she can't. It's just she's bored. And it's not because all men are horrible. All men are not horrible. And all women are not horrible. It's just a lot of the women in my generation, these 80 babies, we are tired of gambling on our time with people with everything outside being expensive just to be disappointed so we just stay at home (laughs) we stay at home you might see us at the grocery store you might see us at the liquor store you might see us at a target but we homebodies and we comfortable not being in the mix I step out sometimes but I'm not always in the mix. Not always. I am never in the mix. I step out sometimes because I kind of sort because of who I am. I am. I'm definitely like a. I, I'm a social butterfly, but I'm also it's like an introvert, extrovert type of thing. Like saying you you get what I'm saying. When I'm out, I'm out. But when I'm in, I'm definitely in. Um. And I don't mind. I, and I don't mind coming to your house and chilling with you. We don't have to all... That too. You know, you know what I'm saying? So. My friends know that they could pull up. But the odds of me just riding around the city and just pulling up to their house, probably not, not happening. Yeah. I probably not happening. My friends, the one that just be like, girl, what you... I have to call to make sure that you're at home. Cause I'm not and it's not because I don't want to see you. It's more so like... My meter for people time Mm -mm. is not there. Mm -hmm. But if you would like to come to my house and eat my chips and watch TV with me, movies or shows, and my titties can be loose and you cool with that, yeah, pull up. If you want to sit right here and listen to me talk to these customers and stuff, you can definitely pull up. Pull up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not one of those people who care that you on your phone scrolling or whatever. Do your thing. But I don't know. It's like people have to be comfortable being their true selves. Mm -hmm. And if you're comfortable with the attention that you get from your butt, great. Mm -hmm. If 
you kind of like insecure because the relationships you have, they have no substance. Maybe you should think about how you started the relationship. What were you showing at the beginning of the relationship? How did you get to know this person? What energy are you putting off? Because a lot of these women are cool women, but the way that they present themselves is kind of like, damn, I think she going to cuss me out if I say the wrong thing. Exactly. Or she, she seems like she's going to be a bitch because she's always like dolled up all the time, which is kind of like fucked up because it's kind of like, damn, pretty women can't um, have a personality. They can, but at the same time, one bad apple usually spoils a bunch. And I think a lot of men, if they just present, um, had regular conversation with a woman that might be gorgeous or look a certain way, instead of trying to assume what she's going to say or how she's going to act, I feel like there will be more regular relationships or bonds happening but because everybody's so surface with their shit you really don't get to know who you dealing with until you in it too long uh-huh. or you probably didn't give it enough time to really get to know who this person is because oh you were so much in love with what was at the beginning so you was like let me hurry up and get into a relationship with this man and also I also want to put out there do it if 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 getting surgery is your thing, do it for you. Yes. Don't do yes. it for because you see that people is getting money off of it. And you seeing that, oh, this is what you think this is what's going to get a man to keep a man. Do it for yourself. And make sure that after you do it that you're, 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 make sure before you do it that you are definitely loving yourself. And make sure after you do it that you're going to love yourself even more. Because I can guarantee you that majority of these women that's walking around here with these big ass asses from these BBLs is definitely not loving their sales. Because it's too much ass. <laughs> it's too much and another ass. thing, there's there should be more that meets the eye with everybody, whether you're a man or a woman. And it is true that naturally, if a woman has a fat ass... If she went without food, she would live longer. Mm. Because the fat stored in her butt, mm. her body would be able to feed off. I, I've researched that. Okay? Mm-hmm. Only the natural ones, okay? Um, <laughs> in 2023, I think the doctors are not going to go anywhere. They're still going to take the cash. They're going to allow anything because big asses are going to morph into like a mental illness. Um, Just like this whole thing with the men going across seas to get surgery to be taller. What? Yeah, and paying guap. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me, but do what you do. I believe it it plays a lot of part. Insecurity plays a lot. You can't sit up oh, and yeah. tell me that it, it, it doesn't. But go ahead. Like, I, I, I've I never, as a woman, I've never wanted to be with a man because he was tall. Me neither. I dated short, and tall, fat. Skinny. To be honest, none. Of, my kids' dads, they're not super tall. Like, 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, That's not super tall. Mm-mm. I'm like 5'2", which is a lie on my license. Like, um... <laughs> but my dad is tall and I'm gonna have tall girls and my girls are gonna be taller than me because of fucking genetics has nothing to do with their dads you know what I'm saying Mm -hmm. and that's the reality of it people really feel like they have a choice with what their family is going to look like I've seen two gorgeous people make an ugly kid and I can say that now because I'm not reproducing so God can't get me yeah I I see that all the time and I see where men go after like real pretty pretty girls thinking because their kids gonna come out licking away and kids Lord Jesus come out licking look like they great great granny I'm telling you old as hell okay <laughs> your baby looks like they've been here before <laughs> like you sure they ain't been here before you been here before 
Oh, look at you. You look like you done been here before. <laughs> Ooh, she looks like a Barbara. Oh, look at Shirley. Shirley is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Shirley is. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, and I, I'm, I can say this because I, I work with people all the time. And just because I can't see them doesn't mean I don't imagine them. Uh-huh. You have to be a not good looking child for your mom to name you Dusty. <laughs> I've seen a man named Dusty. I go look on their Facebook pages sometimes. And you know what his last name was? What? Treat. Oh, Dusty Treat. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, y'all really need to think about y'all kids' names. Like, they have to grow up and they have to get jobs. They have to get jobs. They have to find mates. Okay? So just remember that when you're naming your kids. And remember... When you see a woman whose body looks nice, just remember if you get her pregnant, her body is not raising your child. Her attitude is, her character is, her integrity is. Some beautiful women are the nastiest women in attitude that you will ever meet. Some fine men are completely pointless when it comes to like doing shit around a home, paying bills, being organized, putting shit together. My fear is to be with a man that does not own tools. Hmm. I just bought my ex boyfriend uh, a toolbox, another toolbox for uh, Father's Day. Carol, you know how many tools? Our daddy then came to my house to pick up to put shit together at his house. And I just looking at him like, dang, I fucked you. <laughs> we fucked. <laughs> That's how I'd be like, ooh. And when he came and put up my, my, my bathroom cabinet in my in, in my bathroom, and he put that shit together fast, I was like, damn, you put that shit together real fast. Let me tell you something. My best friend be getting my best friend be getting so mad at me because she was like, Chantal, you go put that whole bunk bed together by yourself? I'm like, yeah. I got the directions right here and I got tools. You sure you don't want me to call such and such to come over there and do that? You you don't want to call your brothers to do that? Girl, my brothers are Jamaican. If I ask my brothers to come put this together, it'll be put together in six months. Okay? It's not because they can't do it. It's because time and them don't mix. <laughs> so I usually put beds together. I put tables together. Um, I remember when it was Ari's first birthday, I bought her a McLaren uh, car to sit in. I put that shit together by myself and put the stickers on. Her dad was furious. I just wanted to to do something for her birthday and put it together. And you just put it together by yourself. I don't know how to wait for a man to do anything for me because you know what, though, Shan, I'm kind of sort of that same way, but I it's <clears throat> the way that your child father is is the way that my 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 son father is towards me. He you you because I went out and had them bought like um, something to go over my 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 toilet in my bathroom. But it ended up breaking on me, so I had to take it back. And he was like, mm-hmm. what you get? You should have waited on me. I would have put it together for you. And I was like, shut the fuck up. But that that's how he <laughs> ended up <laughs> putting my other bathroom cabinet together. And he put that shit together real fast for me, though. But he was like, I told you, I'll put anything together for you. Just stop. You don't have to put shit together when you got me. I was like... <laughs> Let me tell you this. Like, my... 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 My dream, my dream man in my life is a man, when he says he's going to do something, he says it one time and he does it and I don't have to say shit. I want, I want a man that's going to shut me the fuck up in a good way. Right. I don't like repeat myself. When I have to repeat myself, my pussy closes her doors. Right. Let me give you this honey-do list and uh, and let me shut the fuck up. 
I don't even want to give this nigga a list. I just, but I, I just want him to give you the list. So, so therefore you won't forget because it can sometimes be a lot of things. But you know what this this is what I want and I know people men will be like, see, women are crazy. No. I want a, I, I want a man that gets to know me on the level where if we in the store and he see me double look at something and I don't say, Ooh, I want that. Nigga, by the end of this week, I have a package at my door. Now that's understandable though. Like I want you that's, to. That's understandable. I want you to be able to read me. Yeah, because he's. Seen I'm not you. saying every time, all the time, but just those little things. Like, yeah. Let me tell you something. All my exes, y'all could try, y'all could search, y'all could pray. You ain't never gonna find a sentimental woman oh, like me. Um... I may be a Gemini bitch, but I got a soft side, softer than the inside of this pussy. Let me tell you something. <laughs> And I I do the nicest, sentimental, thoughtful shit for men I am in relationships with that no bitch will ever come up with herself. Okay? I'm not the woman that's going to ask my friends, ooh, what nice thing you think I should do for him? No. I think all my gifts through. And I get all my addresses by myself. And I am very detailed on timing and it's going to get there when it needs to get there. And you are going to be fucking surprised and I'm going to make your dick twitch. Let me tell you something. I actually done that. Okay. And to this day, he still wears the pullover and he's with his (laughs) ex-girlfriend that he is. He's back with his ex-girlfriend. Well, his girlfriend and he still wears the pullover that I got sent to his house on his birthday with a note with his nickname that I call him with a man, yeah. Let me shut the fuck. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't... <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me. I get you, Shan. I get you. We that's why I just like. <laughs> I know. I know. This is me and God. God, you hear me on this mic? I know that you are not allowing me to get the nut that I want. <laughs> Until I'm, until I'm with the man I need to be with. I know he is. Yep, yep. He wants you to bust he, it. And he wants every you to time. Every time I have a session scheduled, God laugh at me. He be like, "Girl, you, you really think you gonna get the nut you had in 2006? You're not." Like a like Every time. <laughs> I'm just like, damn. Oh, goodness. All right, God. But, yeah, Yo. everybody's high off yams. You don't need to have a fat ass to be good looking, to be attractive. I appreciate small butts. I appreciate petite women with nice bodies. I be jealous of flat-chested women. That's something that's not a conversation. I be jealous of the fact that women can... Black, have no problem black, going black, into a store and finding their size. Yeah. And and it's perky and they can not have to wear a bra and and with jealous. Me, I and and if I don't wear a bra, I get looked at funny because my jugs are are swinging because I want to run the Publix right quick. And I'm like they look like, "Oh my gosh, she doesn't have on a bra versus a bitch that flat chested or you know what I'm saying perky tits and she's like hi hey how are you how are you doing great and they're like yeah like and they yeah you know what I'm, I'm in Atlanta I can't I can't even wear a bodysuit under a hoodie without somebody being like yeah she must be a shipper <laughs> you know what I'm saying when I check my mailbox I check my mailbox in my boxers and a tank top with no bra. And I know the French people across the street like, she don't got no man. But she be having Porsches in her driveway, BMWs, <laughs> 2024 Mercedes. I know, look, I know my neighbor. <laughs> Is she selling pussy? No. It's just people that I know just like nice shit and they come see me sometimes. Right. 
Right, right. Like, mind your fucking business, ho. <laughs> I'm a mom. Right. We're I'm kidding. a mom. That's it. But if you knew oh me, God. you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't think like that. But yeah, I, I appreciate that too. But I also appreciate flat, flat asses. But I don't, like, but the, like, also, if you do got a flat ass, find pants that fit. <laughs> you know what I want to see go away though? Oh god. For the nation, I want jeggings to fucking die. <laughs> jeggings don't do anybody no favors, especially old people whose whose asses are disappearing, i.e. my mother. My mom's ass is disappearing. It is it's turning into a butt chin. No. No. I'm just like, mom, it's gone. It's but, gone. But I'm just like, find the pants that's going to fit. Even if you're not old enough. I mean, even if you're not even old. You know, <laughs> There's no pants that's going to fit that. You just need to wear frocks. Or, you in your frocks era. Or wear leggings. Or wear a fucking belt. If you're going to wear jeans. Because Ooh, you're gonna... Okay, let's talk about this. Yeah, pull up the pants. Like, oh my God. Men, 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 men. Retire your sister's jeans. Please. I do not want to see your legs pulsating in your pants. I am tired of seeing your booty cuppage out your pants. Men who are over 25 and sagging your pants so I can see your boxers. Every time I see you, I'm... T- I'm this, in my mind... I'm seeing the episode of Oz. Have you watched Oz? No, but I think I know what. what it's a whole bunch of different men in a prison about. cell, and I a lot of them Oz fuck. Is about. Yeah, I know what Oz is about. Okay, mm-hmm. and that's what I'm imagining. I'm a, I'm imagining you are part of the the booty club. Yeah. And you were a trooper, and I think men and anybody on a daily taking it back there you're a trooper i salute you you're a whole soldier because i don't know how mm-hmm. it's unbelievable to me but that's what i'm 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 taking it as you're a part of that team so i don't want to see your boxers i don't want to see your booty cuppage I've been that's so not fair. attractive to a single straight woman uh-uh. okay i don't know who you doing that for but it needs to stop they doing they know you we know who they doing it for we all know who is a signal for and at the end of the day it is what it is and if you don't want to feel like that pull your motherfucking pants up and then i can't stand it seeing like your pants really say you're really low and like it's almost touching the bottom of your motherfucking boxers <laughs> the fuck you can barely I wanna, you know what I want to ask to talk on the phone like <laughs> pull up your I want to know where are men buying capris at city trends no <laughs> fashion for less are you really what, who told you get the capris don't get the shorts don't get the pants get the capris who told you that's not that's not it shouldn't be legal. Stop. Yeah. I can't believe they selling them. Stop wearing capris. Yeah. And if you don't want to show your toes, wear sneakers. I'm tired of seeing men in slides and socks. Or in they switch the bubble shoes. I'm talking about What's bubble shoes? The little bubble flip flops. Oh. And saying they're comfortable. <sighs> Like, come on, man. We can't, females can't have nothing for themselves. And I don't want no man fucking me with socks on. I said that too. <laughs> that is but so gross. I, I, I just, I, you can leave your socks on because I don't like feet. It's more of the disrespect for leaving your, your shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> never done outside in a long time because i ain't got bail money i'm i'm older now but if we inside how dare you you leave your shoes at the door okay yeah i mean if we on the inside you know walked in my house and you asked for me do i need to take off my shoes then yeah take off your shoes leave your own your socks 
But yeah, don't don't fuck me with you. <laughs> don't be walking in my house with loud ass keys either. <laughs> like, like nigga, shut up. <laughs> shut your ass up. <laughs> Damn. This is this is Mission Impossible right now, nigga. Look, did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> There's so much, and I feel like I'm gonna tell on myself. Let me stop talking. Oh God! <laughs> well, tell these people where to find you and your podcast. Okay. Oh my God! No, listen, Shan. Before I go, I just want to say that um, I definitely, definitely, definitely enjoyed myself tonight, and um, I'm gonna definitely get to the yams when I can find the yams. But it definitely won't be my yams. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, my ass only looks fat in certain things. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, if y'all want some more of me, which is your girl Glow, y'all can definitely find me on Conversations with Glow. That is with a K and not with a C on all platforms. Be sure to come and follow me on Instagram at conversations.with.glow. Again, that is with a K and not with a C. Come follow me on Twitter at conversations G and be sure to come and possibly join my Facebook group, which, again, is Conversations with Glow. And, again, you can uh, subscribe to my podcast on all platforms. But, if anything, I am trying to get up my subscribers on Spotify and on YouTube. So, be mm-hmm. sure to come and follow me on there. And, again, that is Conversations with Glow with the K. And not with the C. Okay. And she posts every Wednesday. She has great guests. And um, yeah, more collaborations this year. I'm yeah. sorry it took me so long to get y'all on. No, some season I want to do collabs and some seasons I don't. Um, This season is almost over. But I have a special season coming up that I'm working on. Um, only and one I, person knows about it. And I look forward to, uh, definitely getting you back on to the radio show, being that it is a longer session, so we definitely going to have more than 15 minutes. It's, a, it's an extra 15. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I do want to say again that I did enjoy myself tonight. This was a really, really good conversation. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it. Um... To all the fat asses out there tonight, must be nice. Okay. Sweet yams. (laughs) (laughs) So much that I could have said that could have got me in trouble. Whoa! (laughs) I didn't even talk about men spitting in butts. They love Mm -hmm. doing that, though. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like it's like talking to my grandpa. Grandpa, are you sleepy? No, I'm just I'm just resting my eyes. I'm just resting my eyes. And then the man was pissed. <laughs> grandpa, you wanna go to sleep? No dear. I'm just resting oh my, my eyes. God. I was like, ain't no way. Ain't no Sir way. was sleep. I thought it was fake. That's what I thought it was. I was like, is this a prank? (laughs) And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not really into politics, but I really feel like there should be an age cap (laughs) on when you can be a president. You need to get in at 42. And when you hit 55, sir. Yeah. Quit. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? I agree. I agree. Talking about what we signed, what we read, sir. You can't read. <laughs> I believe that ain't that ain't Joe. Well, that was Joe that was sleeping, but the one that be traveling, that don't be Joe. That be a home. No, guy. one of them is like really flexible, and the other one is just not gonna make it. <laughs> they be like, "Can he have a chair?" No, he cannot. Bring in the second one. Bring in the second one. 
can he sit through this interview? No, he cannot. Bring in the second one. That second one was like, I don't have to be there uh, full time. It's just a part time gig. Sir, you are here a lot. You are here a lot. They're gonna have to give him. They're gonna have to give his uh, his dupe the same residuals after his presidency that he getting. Cause nigga, y'all there equal amount of time. I'm telling. You. What are we doing? I thought this was a part time gig, <laughs> sir. Can you do? Can you do overtime this weekend? They want him to go to a golf tournament. <laughs> <laughs> his knees can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> Let me stop you for the feds. Turn my mic off. His knees are shaking. His knees are shaking. Go, go to break. Him. Go to break. Okay. Like, I'm telling you, cause ain't no way. I was just like, man. I said, fuck them. I mean, my my student loan for it. My students, my student loan seem like it's not going to be forgiven. So they want me. Girl. I'm just like it is what it is. I mean, it. Man, hurry up and get this man out this show. Yeah. And then Trump ain't coming back, so it it is what it is at this point. That's how I feel. I can't. I'm, I, you know what I'm excited about? The next time I get excited about anything that's going to happen in this country is when the aliens touch down and get their eagle on. <laughs> I, I, I want to see y'all. I want something different. We're not getting kings and queens back. I'm tired of these presidents. Nobody's going to do anything better with this country. Bring the aliens out. <laughs> There's nothing better to do. <laughs> I'm ready. It's we done cold. seen the worst of the humans. I'm ready. Right. Drop that. <sighs> well, damn. She fucking gets it. Uh,